everybody. It is your grown woman on the move with 15 minutes to show. Osiris here live with actor, producer, director, writer, mom, wife, the girls got it going on, Jennifer Barons. And we are here live in West Hills today. And just to tell you a little bit about this, this woman, she is from Caracas, Venezuela. She has done, I think it was a Venezuelan soap opera that was long standing called El País de las Mujeres. <laughs> so she's always been about the women, but about the world in general. She has appeared on CSI. She's done films like Seven Pounds with Will Smith, Rosario Dawson. Gee, what is it that you haven't done? She's written, produced, directed. She has a company, she and her husband, Mauricio Mendoza, have a company along with Dwayne Cox, their partner, called True Form Films. And we are here all today to talk to Jennifer about what makes her such a fantastic <laughs> human being and a wonderful actor. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And thanks for such short notice and coming on our show. Hey, right? Last minute. If you're not available last minute, then you miss out. That's what this business is all about most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so let's start with where you came from. You started out as uh, moving you Washington, D.C. Your grandfather was a diplomat. I think you moved there at four. Yes. And then you moved with your mom and your baby brother at the time to Miami. Yes. And wow. then you were encouraged to go in the film. So let's start there. What happened? Okay. Well, I really, since I was like five, six years old, I've always wanted to be inside of that tube, inside of the television. Um, I remember watching TV as a little girl and I was just so enamored and, and amazed. It's like, how are these people in there? I thought literally. Literally, there was like little tiny people inside of that box, so I would go up to the box and like try and peek <laughs> in. And <laughs> Destin. So I've always wanted to um, be in the business and be an actress, but I didn't really start pursuing it um, or training for it till after high school. Um, my parents had no idea how to get me involved or anything, so I just um, did um, all the dancing and, um, you know, um, anything artistic or creative at school, I would sign up for. And um, and then I went to college um, in Miami-Dade Community College, and I got a scholarship there for um, drama. And um, then I went to North Carolina School of the Arts. And, um, and then I lived in Miami back then. And I don't know if you know, but in Miami, it's a right-to-work state, so you can have more than one agent. And wow, that is interesting. A yes. lot of people don't know that. Yes, and um, so I sent out a bunch of submissions after I felt ready. I trained for a good three years. I got my um, uh, my headshot and resume. I had done um, plays in, um, in my college, and um, I ended up signing with 10 agents at the same time. So I was very excited. <laughs> now that leads me to a question. Do you feel, do you think, do you know that being raised and growing up as a bilingual person, do you think that gave you a little bit more edge for getting into the industry than most people? Because most people can't even barely speak English, let alone two languages, and that you grew up in a bilingual environment, that's interesting. I think for you are absolutely right. It has given me an edge. It's given me an opportunity to work in two markets from the get-go. Um, and in Miami, I that's mostly what I started with was the Spanish language um, commercials and Sábado Gigante. You know Sábado Gigante? Absolutely. <laughs> so I got a recurring part in La Familia Fernández. There was like this little um, skit that happened every, they, um, they produced it every um, week, and I was La Sobrina, so I was the, the niece, and it was all in Spanish, and I did Spanish theater with Roblang, may he rest in peace, he was amazing, um, and people that I met in Univision, and then, um, and then of course, the English language um, series, which um, my first one was Point Man in Jacksonville with Jack Scalia. Oh my God, I love Jack Scalia. <laughs> so oh my sweet. Can I tell you a little trivia? Then Absolutely. Fast forward like 15 years later, I moved to LA and I'm a working actress and I'm going to um, this spinning studio. And who's my spinning teacher? 
Jack Scalia. He loves doing that on the side, and he was our spinning teacher. I couldn't. What is what you mean spinning as in DJing? No, as in exercising. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about spinning? I'm thinking DJ, like, wow, okay, you're spinning. Yeah, so it was just incredible to, you know, full full circle, just realize that as actors, we get to do a lot of things, not just acting. And this is this is also a passion of his that I ended up in his class. Like, what are the odds, right? Yeah. Um, so, yes, to answer your question, I think it's really... Um, a blessing that I grew up bilingual, and um, and those that have the opportunity to learn another language, especially Spanish, do it because it's going to open up so many opportunities for you in the future and um, in in the workforce. I believe that, um, and people out there take that to heart. That's definitely true. That's why I try to keep my little Spanish going. Yeah, muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's why I put my children in bilingual schools here. They go to, um, my, my daughter goes to a dual language school called... Uh, I didn't even know they had dual language schools. You know, they are... They're, they're, are they're, they private? They are between, um, no, they're charter schools, actually. Oh, charter schools. So you get to, um, it's, they do the lottery, so not everybody gets in. Um, and um, Juliana goes to a really special one here in, in the Valley, and um, my son also went there. And he's fully bilingual, biliterate bilingual. It's so important. Wow. It is very important. Muy importante para gentes. <laughs> I love practicing in my Spanish. Yeah, so the, the, what we want to know is now, how did you get to, how is it, what is it like incorporating your acting, your all of the busy that you do in the entertainment world with your husband. Marie, how do you work with your husband? Is it every day? I mean, you see him every day and then you got to work with him too. And then how did you guys get, it's the three of you, it's yourself, um, Mauricio Mendoza, her, her, her husband, and uh, Dwayne Cox. And how do all of you keep from getting in the way of what each other is doing? Okay. From stepping on each other's toes. Let's see. Okay, well, um, I'll start with how True Form Films um, was born. Um, I went to Sundance back in 2006 for the first time, and um, with that dream of transitioning from just an actress to a filmmaker, and it's just it was just like gnawing at me. I'm like, I want to do films. I want to get more... Um, proactive, you know, instead of just sitting by the phone for my agents to call me for auditions, I want to create my own content. How do I do it? Um, I went to Sundance. I got so inspired. That year, um, La Quinceañera, it was this break breakout film. I don't know if you are familiar with it, but Jesse Garcia is uh, the star in that, and it's an all-Latin um, cast. And, wow. And they won, and I remember sitting at the awards um, show, and they won best um, film for um, by the jury and audience award. So it was like a very, very special, special moment, and it just inspired me. So when I came home, I'm like, I'm going to create my own production company. I'm, I need a name. I need a special name. So I'm very spiritual, and I have... Love it. I have all the... Thank you. All these spiritual books that I, I bought in India when I went to India back in 99. Oh, and well-traveled. <laughs> wow. And so I just said, okay, tell me what my name is, because I'm like, I want it to mean something. So I closed my eyes, and I opened it to... Um, one of the um, prayers that said, "Your true form will always take you, will always take you through the path that you need to." Something to that effect. And and I was with my girlfriend, and I remember saying, "True form films," and she's like, "I love it. <laughs> I love it." <laughs> so that was it, it. Was born with the name, and I just said, "Okay, now universe, this is what I want to do. Show me the way, and show me my team." And um, Dwayne Cox is a friend of mine that actually he hired me back in 97. We met, he was doing the behind the scenes of a pilot that I did. And he, um, he's a producer and director and editor and hired me. And so then I remember, I remember he said, if you ever need any help to like get in into the- If you want to rock, let's roll. You know, absolutely. 
So I invited him to join me in, in creating uh, the, um, the gala event for my son's school at the time, and it was about dual language education, and I wanted, I started a documentary about that, and because I really believe that it's important for people to be um, bilingual, and I'm an advocate for bilingual education. I wish every school offered it. And I had never really heard, uh, I don't know how many of you out there have, but I didn't even know there was a, such a thing as bilingual, I mean, uh, advocating for yes. bilingual um, education. Yes. So we created this event and we raised funds and I invited you know, celebrities and the politicians and the educators in one night to celebrate um, bilingual education and we raised money for the school and, and Duane helped me produce that and that was the very first like True Form Films um, um, production. And then fast forward, I, got cast in a movie called Confessions of a Gangster. I saw that. Which you see. There you go, in the background we are, we have the privilege of seeing some of the productions that uh, Jennifer and her team have done true, with True Form. We've either acted and- um, Or did the production. Or did the production, and in that, my husband and I got cast to play opposite each other. As the lovers, or yes, as like ex-lovers, and he was trying to get back with me, and but he was married, sort of like that Joanne Woodward, Paul Newman kind of thing. Yes, oh, I love them. But there was definitely chemistry. Obviously, fast forward nine wow. years later, here we are, and um, oh. so it's an onset romance that 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 sparked. That sparked it is true. <laughs> wow, I know we're running out of time, oh, so I no, need you to really? say, yeah. So, I need you to say uh -huh. and tell everybody what projects you're working on now, okay. what we can look forward to from True Form, what we can look forward from you Absolutely. as an actor, and where they can find out more about you, your, uh, your True Form okay. Films company, and Okay. what you're doing so we can I stay in touch. Absolutely, so just to wrap up, the other question is we really, are a great, uh, we're a great mix because we lift each other up. My husband and it's I. It's a good balance. Where it's a great balance. I'm like the big vision girl. He's the closer. He finishes things. So we are like a, a match made in heaven. Um, Work-wise, we, we want the same thing and we, we go about it a little um, differently, but then we have Dwayne to, to be the- And mediate. <laughs> In the middle. And he's just fantastic. So um, what's coming up next? There's um, Mi Amor, which is my directorial debut. Oh, wow. Where, where, where can we see Mi Amor? Um, right now, um, well, definitely um, a private link, but we just won Audience Award for two festivals that we were um, accepted in. Um, here in LA, it was the Panamanian Film Festival and the Highland Park Film Festival. Wow. And we just got accepted into the Idlewild Film Festival, which will be in March. So you can see it in Idlewild. It's a beautiful little town. I love Idlewild. Yes. There was a movie called Idlewild. Oh, really? I got yeah. Because it it's one of my favorite, Andre 2000. My places. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it there. And um, we'll, you know, we're waiting to hear from Sundance and Slamdance and a whole bunch of others. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> you guys are doing a fantastic job. You guys, if you have not heard of this woman, Jennifer Barons, <laughs> who's actor, producer, director, again, writer, just all around, just a wonderful person, as you can see, and her. Husband Mauricio Mendoza. Yes. Uh, find who, us on Trueform. Find him on Trueform. Com and True Yen at um, Instagram and um, Trueform Films at Instagram as well. And Facebook is Trueform Films as well. And IMDb, Trueform, Jennifer Bear. You, you guys have your YouTube channel or no? You know, we have a YouTube channel, but we're not very active in it. Um, so the best place to find you on yes, what you The said. best place is Instagram and Facebook and our website. Well, we are looking... Filmfilms.com. 
We are looking trueformfilms.com for those of you that didn't hear her. We are looking forward to hearing more and more about what you're doing. You're so beautiful. Oh, yeah. And when I saw you were from Caracas, I'm like, ah, oh, it's so Caracas. <laughs> it sounds so hot, you know? <laughs> and looking forward to seeing everything you guys are doing. This has been another 15 minutes. Don't forget to go on our channel and subscribe. <laughs> you know you want to. Okay, you know you want to do it. Yes. So subscribe to our channel and don't forget to follow this young lady and her adventures. And we are all about that bilingual education thing. Be it's been nice. Bye. Adios. Woo!